Christina, what do you make of Apple's push even further into the health space? Well, I find this so fascinating, Kayla, because last month we found out that Apple had a secret team that was building products for people with diabetes. Uh, specifically, they were trying to do non-invasive and continuous glucose monitoring. And then we learn that Tim Cook has been wearing one of these devices around the Apple campus. And he spoke about that in Scotland when addressing a room full of students and how helpful it had been for him personally and what a pain it was for people with diabetes to do this kind of tracking every single day. So what, what exactly did he say when, uh, when he was speaking in Scotland about that? Well, he said that he had been tracking his blood sugar for weeks and that he was learning how the foods that he was eating, if they, especially if they were high in sugar, were impacting his blood sugar. And all of that was leading him to make healthier decisions. Um, we've seen Tim Cook on a little bit of a health spree recently. Um, he's an avid gym goer and just told Jim Cramer that he's lost 30 pounds. But beyond that, this could be a hint at future products because we, we heard that he was wearing a prototype on the Apple Watch, potentially of a future version mm -hmm. of the watch. So in that, we could see more glucose tracking, did, adding to things like steps. Did Tim talk about uh, how accurate it is and whether or not they would need FDA approval if it came to market? He did not talk about that, but certainly they would need FDA approval if they were building a device of their own. Right now, what they can do is they can connect with existing FDA-approved glucose monitors and have that data show up on a device like the phone or the Apple Watch. But this would be a big new step for Apple if they were to build their own sensors in-house. And for that, we'd have to see them getting into a regulated space. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.